the globalist American empire declares all-out war on the American people and now followed by another amazing piece with zero moral authority left the globalist American empire is doomed to fail at home and abroad these are blockbuster analytical pieces Darren Beatty walk us through revolver once again at the cutting edge of all of this walk us through what these two articles say and why people need to read them today well thank you very much and look we all see this recent trend of basically the entire national security apparatus directing its eyes and its resources against the american people labeling us domestic terrorists and these two pieces at revolver.news which everyone should go to now highly provocative on the cutting edge really explore in multiple dimensions the implications of this development and really where we are is we are in a transition phase from a persuasion model of control that is a model of control in which our institutions are governed by what one might call pretty lies pretty illusions those illusions are being disintegrated before our very eyes and replaced by overt control mechanisms. And there are various implications of that. One of those implications is that the United States has completely lost its moral authority. And the nature of patriotism in the United States is one that requires at least the illusion of moral authority, the illusion of America being a free society and so forth. And so I think that what I call the globalist American regime will have a very difficult time making this transition into a coercion model. Similarly, the way that the United States tends to project its interests abroad, very different from the way a country, a nation like China would. We weaponize our supposed moral superiority in order to advance our geopolitical interests abroad. We use terminology like human rights in order to interfere with elections, to place uh, favorable leaders, and, and so forth. What uh, Professor Thayer was talking about, if we need to use the so-called pro-democracy forces in Myanmar, it helps to have at least an alleged moral authority in order to accomplish that. That no longer exists. And so both at home and abroad, there are severe implications to the fact that the globalist American empire, as I call it, has no moral authority. And we're seeing that as every single institution in this country is being revealed as a scam and a fraud, and in most cases, actively hostile to the interests, the happiness, the freedom, and the flourishing of the American people. One thing I would just want to question right there, did I hear you correctly? Because you've got to read both pieces. Not do you just have to read them, you have to share them. This is where you got to become a force multiplier. Even if you don't agree with everything in it, this is the type of provocative, cutting-edge thinking this movement's needed for a long time, and now we're getting it. Did you say you think that this globalist American empire, the people that are now are the, the globalist, right? Mm -hmm. you, did you just say you think they're going to have a tough time segueing to the coercion model and implementing the coercion model? Did I hear that correctly? I do. I do, and for various reasons. I think, for instance, in China, um, I have great respect, actually, for the Chinese people, but they are different. They don't require the same types of illusions that Westerners and particularly Americans do. And so even from the standpoint of domestic control, the fact that it's so overt at this point, they don't even pay lip service anymore, really, to the idea of America as a free society with free elections, with free speech, with, with a free market, as we've recently seen with the GameStop fiasco. And I think over time, and even now, it's going to be very difficult to control the American people through more or less an overt coercion model rather than the kind of um, persuasion model built on pretty lies and illusions, if one wants to take the cynical but, but route. We just, we I just want I just went on a rant about Tony Fauci's now changed radically changed this whole uh, issue of vaccines. They say now the key to the herd mentality, the herd uh, immunity 
the key to herd immunity is vaccinating children, which they didn't even have in the report a couple of days ago. It seems to me that they feel that their coercion model is working. This is how they won the election. They're rolling. They got people, you know, curled up in a fetal position, sucking their thumbs. Oh, woe is me. This is terrible. We're never going to do it again. And people are fighting back. There's people saying it's over. Why are you even doing this? So don't you believe in their mind? They think the coercion model is working and working just fine. And they're going to get a little more coercive. Yes. I mean, I think they really have no choice. I think one of the consequences of the Trump phenomenon is basically it put the corrupt ruling class of the globalist American empire on an accelerated timeline that they didn't necessarily want. They had to move much more quickly from the persuasion model to the coercion model because the persuasion model requires that most of the public basically buy into the legitimacy of the country's institutions and that's no longer uh, okay we got about 15 seconds give how do you get to revolver how do you get to you people got to read this they got to push it out today we're going to be covering a lot of fascinating things in the near future go to revolver.news read these two pieces at the top read the interview that you did steve which was excellent that's also pinned at the top share them all and talk about them A lot more explosive stuff coming out from Revolver.News. Go there now.